always a rainbow within reach on animal So good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? Is it a sheep? That's right. It's a black sheep. Oh, I want to paint a black sheep too. Let's see. A little bit here. Oh! What's the matter, Hedgehog? My painting looks awful. It doesn't look like a sheep at all. Oh, I'm sorry. Huh. I don't like my sheep. <gasps> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. Wow, that's a lot of black. I didn't like how my sheep was turning out, so I made it a big fluffy sheep. I like it. Mr. Goose, Mr. Goose, can we make black the color of the day? Hedgehog, that's a great idea. Presenting black. Leaves. 
I see one. Let's look for more. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! Which ant is black? There it is! Black ant. Which dog is black? There it is! Black dog. Which feather is black? There it is! Black feather. Which bowl is black? There it is! Black bowl. Very good! It's story time! Yay! Get around, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called A Very Busy Day. This story is about a little girl who spends the day with her mama. Let's see what happens. Let's begin. A Very Busy Day. Written by Chisanga Mukuka. Illustrated by El Marto. Designed by Christian Mokuba. Today is a very busy day. Mama and I have lots of things to do and see. We walk to the station and find people waiting in a line. Old people and young people, loud people and quiet people, all going to town. Through the taxi window, I see cars driving by. Fast cars and slow cars, big cars and small cars. There are so many buildings in town. Tall ones and short ones, glass ones and brick ones, everywhere I look. Mama and I walk in and out of shops. Shops for clothes and shops for books, shops for bags and all sorts of things. Mama tries on some shoes. Red shoes and green shoes, high shoes and low shoes. Hello, bonjour, hola, jumbo. In a big store, we fill a cart with food. Boxes of cereals and sacks of fruit, bags of flour and bottles of juice. Mama shows me the toys and asks me to choose. There are soft toys and round toys, loud toys and fast toys. Today, we've bought lots of things. Bags of food and bags of clothes, a pair of shoes, and even some treats. Back at home in our quiet house, I take out the special gift that Mama bought just for me. The End Thank you, Mr. Goose! Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids! Hello, Mr. Frog! I'm going to teach you a song called Five Little Speckled Frogs. Frogs? Oh, like you, Mr. Frog! That's right! Today, you can all pretend to be frogs. Yay! I'll sing the first part, and then you sing along with me. How many frogs did I say there were? Five! Good listening. Here we go. 
Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Now I want you to all sing along with me. I want to hear you sing too. How many frogs are there now? Four! Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. How many? Three! Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. How many? Two! Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool. Nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. How many? One. One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Well done. Yay! Thank you for singing with me. And thank you too. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Letter Safari. Let's find some beginning letter sounds. Oh, look! Hedgehog has maracas. Hmm. Maracas, mm, mm, maracas. <laughs> Do you hear that? Maracas begins with M. Mm, mm, maracas. <laughs> Monkey has a triangle. T -t triangle. T -t triangle. What letter makes the beginning sound in triangle? T. <laughs> That's right. T. -t triangle. <laughs> Pig is playing a keyboard. Oh. <laughs> k k keyboard. K k keyboard. What letter do you hear? K. Cool. <laughs> and Mr. Frog has a banjo. B -b banjo. B -b banjo. What letter do you hear? B. That's right! Let's listen to the beginning letters again. Mm, mm, maracas. What's that letter? M! T -t Triangle. What's that letter? T! Keyboard. What's that letter? K. B -b Banjo. What's that letter? B. Let's put these four letters in our learning book. Say each letter with me.
Let's make music! It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Lightly row, lightly row, o'er the glassy waves we go. Lightly row, lightly row, on the silent tide. Let the wind and waters be mingled with our melody. Lightly row, lightly row, on the silent tide. silent tide let the wind and waters be mingled with our melody lightly row lightly row on the silent tide 